welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and Channel, here to do another so-called hour of entertainment for you. <laughs> so if you're new to the show, welcome, and please, please, give me at least three chances before you click off. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Here is how the show is going to go today. By the way, happy 4th of July to everybody in America celebrating the 4th of July. I know it's tomorrow. I'm going to say it today because I won't be here tomorrow. Happy uh, Canada Day to all of my Canadian friends. Um, and I thank everybody in the chat for joining in and chatting with me pre-show. If you would like to join the show live, I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central for um, at least 30 minutes, most of the time 60 minutes. And I answer your questions about love, life, career, finances, whatever you want to ask me. I also will help you connect with loved ones on the other side, bringing them through for you. Um, okay, if you join the show live, you can call in. The number is 845-277-9131. If you want to join live on YouTube, you just go straight to YouTube, put my name in, and start chatting with us. You can ask questions in the chat. You can also call in and ask those questions. <clears throat> Please keep in mind, I will never, ever, ever reach out to anybody and ask them pretty much anything. No. Not happening. I don't. I won't. So if somebody reaches out to you on social media, it's not me. Kind of like the Shaggy song. Was me. It's not me. It won't be me. It'll never be me. Um... So don't get scammed. Don't lose your money uh, talking to a fraud, a fake, or whatever it we want to call them today. All righty. I'm going to start like I always do with names and songs from loved ones. So the name I say, it may be your name. It may be a loved one's name. Yeah. Okay, so the first name I'm hearing, and I don't, Gina. And so the funny thing is, I know Sal is in the chat, but I heard Sal, Gina. So Sal, that might be for you. I don't know. It might be, if you know a Gina that's here, there might be a message for her. Um, so the next name I'm hearing is, um, I, it's a weird name. Rinaldo, Rinaldo. It's not weird. It's just, it's not a name I'm used to. So I'm trying to make sure I'm pronouncing. And they're showing me this the spelling. At first, I thought they were going to say Reynolds, <laughs> but it's Rinaldo or R E N O L D A. Rinaldo. Okay, Rinaldo whoever that's for. And then the next name that I'm hearing is um, Chris, Christopher. And then the next name I'm hearing is Lucas. And then I'm hearing um, okay, I am going to say this. I'm hearing the name Maria, and then I heard Mariela, and I can say that name because I have a cousin named Mariela, that, and that's how I know how to say that name, but otherwise I wouldn't. Mariela. Um, so I don't know if those are the same people or different people. They're probably different people. And then the next name that I'm hearing is, uh, I don't know if they're playing with me at this point, Jenkins. Jenkins. And again, it can be first, last, or middle name. But if you know these names, then then it's for you. And yes, the name can be for more than one person. Okay. Um, and then I hear Josephine. Okay, we're going to go to songs. And they are pulling out 
old school songs today. Oh, my, my, my. That's a, I guess that's the first song. My, my, my. And yes, folks, listen, I know I can't sing. I can't, I can't do everything, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe that just came out of my mouth. Um, so please don't, don't let me up. Don't send me a text. Don't post a public message. You've got to stop singing. Yeah, I wish I could. I wish I could stop singing. But if spirit does it, I, that's the way they communicate through me. And if you don't like that, well, plug your sensitive little ears. That's all I can say. Okay, so the next thing is, um, the next song is um, the Humpty Dance. The Humpty Dance. Um, and now they're just like singing that song and I'm cracking up to it. Okay. And then the next song is, um, it's that song. It's, I think it's called down with the sickness. And I know this song has come in before and I cannot believe they're making me do it again, but they're doing the beginning of it where it goes, ah! <laughs> Jesus, I have apparently, I will do anything on the show. I'm just saying, apparently I have no and then the next song is, um, yeah, it, it's down with, get, get down with the sadness. Okay. And then the next song is, um, oh, I really, really, if I told you that I, if I told, I can't even get the beat of it, but I can hear it. If I told you that I loved you, um, oh, that's so sweet, whoever that song's for. So songs could be the answer to a question. They can be a song that you love, they love, or you listen together. And then the next song, I'm just hearing a group, Nirvana, um, just the whole group, Nirvana. So if they were a big Nirvana, you were a big Nirvana fan, the, the group um, Nirvana is coming through. And that is what's um, uh, coming through. Okay, so those are the songs that are coming through. More may come through as we go through this. Um, and then then I'll um, g g give you those songs as we go. And I'm going to just see, uh, I want to say hey to Anne and Jennifer and Genevieve. Genevieve, I love you, girl. Um, Sal, Anne, again, Jen, um, I, I love how you roll, <laughs> Mariela. <laughs> yeah. That is probably the only name I can roll my tongue on and probably because I heard it so much um, when I was younger, but it's probably not even correct, right? It's pro I, I'm probably not even saying that correctly, Genevieve. Fawn is here. Okay, we're going to go to callers and I'm going to go back and forth between callers and um people online. Now, I, I want the callers to hold on just a second because I just really need to say something here. And um, I've been wanting to say it the last, you know, couple shows and have just not um, remembered because I'm so in the energy and getting started, but they're, they're telling me to remind you now. You guys, there's something really um, in, in every, I used to teach the law of attraction in, um, uh, as a, I teach it still as a program, private and group, private group and small group. And, but I used to teach it for the public schools and the recreation centers. And I used to channel a lot of information. And one of the things is to, when we're working with the law of attraction or anything at all, it's all faith based. It's, it's very much faith based. So when we get into that space of fear, we cannot bring to us what we want. Or if we do, there's a chance we'll lose it very quickly because it's based in fear and loss or fear and not enough or fear just in general, whatever it is. So when we go into that space of manifesting and creating, we have to go way outside of our thinking mind 
or our logical mind. And that's why when people meditate or they go into what they call deep thought, really deep thought, like that's when people look at you and go, hey, where'd you go for a minute there? Oh, you know, I was off creating worlds. That's all. No big deal. Um, when we get into that space, that's where we can do our best creating. So when we zone out, when we get into that space where we are zoned out or we are meditating or whatever you want to call it, deep thought, we have to make sure those thoughts are pure of intention because those thoughts will create faster. Now, the where they're going with this is not even there. They're taking a whoo, a whoo, round, round, roundabout, roundabout. Yeah, you know what word I mean. Um, so one of the things that's going on right now, not only here, but everywhere, is that um, there is a an illusion of division. And if we stay in the illusion of division, and for those of you who know, you know what I'm saying right now. You know 1 million percent what I'm saying right now. If we stay in the illusion of division, because there is no separation, none whatsoever. But if we stay in the illusion of division, we stay in fear, right? And if we look at the past couple of years and everything that's happened, it's happened to, oh, they're coming in, folks. Here we go. Going live right now. <laughs> they're coming in. If we stay in the space of division, we cannot create what we truly want on this plane. Once we get into that space of we are one, even within yourself, because so many of you are divided within your own mind, within your own thoughts, within your own wants, within your own wills. Do I want this or do I want that? Should I stay or should I go? Is this true? Is this false? If I do this, I'll be okay. If I don't do that, I won't be okay. When the truth of the matter is, you are one, the world is one, the world is inside of you, everything that you want is already in existence within you, it's just a matter of believing enough to let it come into your foresight. And having those thoughts and knowings that everything is already happened. Having the bigger thought and the bigger knowing, I am okay. I have always been okay. I will always be okay. I am safe. I have always been safe. I will always be safe. There is no such thing as destruction. There is just a timing for an ending. And that ending is to teach people about love and how quickly life and love can disappear. So to envelop it while you're here. As we move forward on this plane, it is critical that we get rid of the illusion of division, that we let all feel fear fall to the ground, that we allow, we simply allow forward movement with no, with no interference, no thought interference. The only thing that can interfere with your forward movement is your thoughts, your thought of what you think, know, or believe can interfere. If you just flow like a baby does, babies just flow, they grow, they don't know. If you just flow as a baby does, back into that space where you just have total faith of everything. You will be back in the creation mode. And in that creation mode, there will be nothing that can stop you. Turn things off. Turn electronics off and sit within yourself. Not with yourself, within yourself. And not to that space you normally go. Yes, that space will come up, but let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. If the thought comes up and you don't like it, let it go. Next, 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 until you get to the thoughts you love. 
and they will come and they will be there and you will have that unity within you, that peace within you, that love within you, that all that is, all that was, all that will ever be, you might even go back to the space that you came from because that space is still within you. You are not separate from where you came from. You are not separate from where you will go back to. You are still one with that. You cannot be separate from what you are, and you are it. You are the universe in action. And yes, there are other particles that are universe in action, but they are working with you. So if you are having a bad day, if you are having bad thoughts, if you are having negativity, you will run into other particles that will confirm that that is the truth and that is how it's going to happen. If you are having a good day and you are in a high day, then you will run into other particles or as you call them beings that are having a good day and will confirm that for you. So first and foremost, choose the particles and or beings that you surround yourself with carefully. Because those particles and or beings are the ones that are going to help you to stay in that highness, that oneness, that forward movement, that flow, that trajectory, that word. And as you do that, every day will get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay, they've been wanting to do that for a while, and here we are, and they did it. I'm thinking of doing more channeling on the show for you guys. If you like that, hit it, let me know. Um, but it is true. Don't let what we're hearing on certain venues make us think they're it's different than what it truly is and you would be amazed at how staying in a space of love happiness and joy will change not only you but everything that you see for there has always been spaces that have been chaos and conflict but whether you enter that space or not depends on you and your mind and how you feel and what you think. And yes, there are times you will be maybe put in that space of conflict or interference. Okay, it's a little interference. But you can bring yourself back out of it. Again, with how you think. What is your thinking mind doing? Okay, um, so that is what I'm going to say. That is where I am. Uh, that is what they have for you. They're going to be staying with us for the show, of course, because they always do, and they channel answers for everybody. So if you do have a question, call in 845-277-9131, and I'll be happy to, or we will be happy to answer those questions and or connect with your loved ones on the other side. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go to 514. You're the first caller. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, this is Genevieve. How are you? Oh my God, I'm girl. rolling the R's today. <laughs> <laughs> Genevieve, how are you? Yes, no, no, don't get me going. I'm going to think you're naughty. You're naughty. I'm, I'm so bad. But I am. I am. <laughs> oh my goodness, Genevieve, what's going on? Oh, I'm doing great. You know, I love your messages that you said before. I love it when you start with those beautiful messages from the above. I find them oh. so inspiring and so confirming for everything and for everyone. It is so true. We are yeah. bountiful of so many things. Just to be able to see the blue skies every day or, listen or hear the birds, whatever it is, yeah. what we think about is how we bring joy to ourselves. It is the best thing. And thank you very much for sharing us the beautiful messages. Yeah, and I, I do want to say, you know, there is a lot of people will come and say, well, what about this and what about this? And on the T 
TV or on this or on that. You know what? Just, just like books in a library, you get to choose which ones you pick and read or, you know, in this case, what you listen to and what you listen to will impact you. And most of what we're seeing is an illusion, not all of it, but a lot of it is, um, how do I say this without um, created chaos to make us think things are different than they are. So we have to be very selective in what we are absorbing because we are sponges. We say babies are sponges, but we are babies of the universe. We are babies of source. We are still sources, little children, and we are sponges. So we have to be very careful of what we absorb, what we allow into our um, field or our area, because even if we don't believe it, it's there. And we, we were designed to have opinions. And the goal, now the goal is to hear something and to not put a value on it, to not think either way of good or bad. And this is where the statement is, do not judge. Because no matter how horrific something may seem, we may first of all not be understanding what's going on behind it, but even more so, so we cannot allow something that is not directly affecting us to change our direction, to change our views, to change our life. Okay. They are not letting go today. I love it. I hope you guys love it because I love it. Okay, Genevieve, did you have a <laughs> Genevieve? Did you have a question? Did you want to talk to your dad or your anybody? Well, thank you for, again. It's just confirming everything. So many things for me, but yes, today would be uh, is my mama's birthday. She would have been mm. eighty today. Uh, she passed thirty two years ago, and I wanted to know if there's anything she wants to share with me or share some creation that I'm working on or anything, whatever, what messages she wants for me to know on her beautiful birthday. Okay. So uh, happy birthday, mama. Her, so, her name was Liz. Liz. Okay. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you are welcome. Excuse me, everybody. Okay. So the, the first thing that I am getting is <clears throat> the song and it's fly Robin fly. So whether that is, well, we know she is, but I think that's a message to you to start. Um, <clears throat> this is figurative, not literal, not to fly and leave the nest, but to fly with your projects, to start flying with your projects, to just get, get go, like get going. And even if it doesn't go where you want it to, it's going to go someplace. It's going to lead you to something else. So the next thing I want to say is it's a cre create, create, creative, creation, creative thing you're going to be doing. It's about creating. It's about creating. And then the next thing she would want to say is you are going to be taking a next step very soon. Okay, so what she's showing me is like a jigsaw puzzle. And the whole puzzle is put together, but there's just one piece. And it's so funny because the piece is an okay. edge piece and everybody always puts the outside together, the frame together first, and then works towards the inside. Um, but this piece is a piece of the frame and it's the only piece but but it's in your hand so you're just holding this piece okay and then as soon as you put the piece in i just yeah go ahead i just gotta play it i just gotta do it i just gotta play it right put the piece in um because you have all the pieces and then that one piece that isn't in yet yep. is just basically like I don't want to say it's a fear or whatever, but it's a piece. And I can tell you because, okay, the puzzle they're showing me would be your head. 
Okay, it's your face, but it's a profile, and it's um, it's like the back lower part of the head. But you know, it's just a piece of the puzzle. Okay, and you just have to put it in, and it's not physical; it's etheric, and whatever that. Well, we know what that means, but for you, and that you're going to be just fine. It's all going to come together perfectly, and don't worry because you have all the pieces that you need and as you use them they will unfold themselves is what i'm getting beautiful thank you so much and mm, well thank you to my mama oh thank you're you so for welcome. giving me the message you're so welcome you're so welcome and i'm so grateful that you called in today and i was able to answer that for you and give you that message thank you so much my love thank you thank you <sighs> Okay. Well, thank you, thank you, and sending you lots of love and lots of love to everyone. Have a beautiful, gorgeous day. Happy July 4th to all Americans, and yep. well, we just passed Canada Day, so happy um, Canada Day for everyone. Thank you. Yeah, happy Canada Day, and I will talk with you soon, Genevieve. Beautiful. Bye-bye. Bye-bye for now. Okay, I'm going to look online and see if anybody... J. Francis, oh, I love that thinking about... Um, Okay, uh, I, if you have a question, if you're in the chat and you have a question, post your question. I'll be happy to answer it for you. Hey, Joy, happy Monday, happy 4th. Um, I'm going to go to 347. 347, uh, what's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, well, I need you to move the phone. Um, it's a little gargly right now, love. So if you could just fix your phone to your face or something like that. Oh, much better. There we go. What's your name, uh, love? Uh, oh, my name is Jessica. Calling from New York. Hey, Jessica. How are you today? I'm fine. Good, good, good. How can I help you, love? Um, I just want anything, like, a, you know, something from, like, Okay, so Jessica, typically I have people. Uh, Jessica, typically I have people start out with a very specific question just to get into your energy and to know what area you want to work on or have a question about. So if you could do that, that would be great. Oh, okay, well, um, work. I want to know, like, Okay. Jessica, I think you're like your phone is going through your car or something because it is not a clear connection. I, but I do believe that you said work. So I'm going to pick it up from there. Um, here's the first thing I'm getting from you. So first of all, Jessica, I see one of your loved ones here with me from the other side. But the biggest thing I'm getting is that there is something, Jessica, that you can do on your own. <coughs> Excuse me. And it is a, um, it's, you know, they say keep your day job, but start doing this on the side, so to say. But what I feel like, Jessica, you could set up or you could do, and I, I'm just going to give you some examples. I don't know. I don't know for sure what this is, but I'm just going to throw out a bunch of examples and then let you, like, I think when people could do their own business, they already know what that business is. Um, so, for example, I always use the same examples, whether it's, you know, if you can do hair, nails, whatever that is, or brows, whatever that is. But also in your case, though, Jessica, I'm getting, if you set up some sort of daycare or and not only for kids it's not only a daycare for kids it could be um and i don't like to use this word for adults or elderly but a daycare for the elderly where they come during the day and there's projects or something a program or something but something like there's a business you could do and set up on your own that would be very profitable for you you would have to you could it would it might not be profitable out the gate or 
right away. Oh, you know what they're showing me, Jessica? Um, I'm not getting this clearly, but I am going to tell you what I'm seeing. Okay, so, okay, Jessica. Okay, I think I have it, but if this is not it, if this is not it, don't, you know, you're going to feel it. It could be this or something like it. You know when people pass away and then somebody goes in and cleans out their house and like takes care, like just goes in and cleans out their house. That starts as a very definitely a, a part-time work and then, or uh, business, and then can work into a full-time business. And that is actually, that can be a very lucrative business also, <clears throat> where you go in and you, like if the family's out of state or whatever, you just go in and you clean out their, help clean out their house and take care of making sure the house is whatever. So that is, I don't know if it's that or something else, but I'm going to tell you there is definitely a business you could do on your own. Now they're saying you, you will still need a paycheck. You'll still need money um, while doing this, but you'll be able to handle both things. And eventually whatever the business is, you'll be able to take that, let that business take over. I don't know if this was helpful or not, Jessica. I really hope it was. I hope that that helped you. And I'm sorry that the connection was not that good. It was very, very gargled. Um, I'm going to go to a question in the chat. Uh, first is, Anne, does my Uncle Steve have any message for me? Um, Anne, you know, and your messages are always the same, and I always feel bad um, it, it, because all of your loved ones are all telling you the same thing. Get up, and they're actually singing. I think it's Lenny Kravitz or that, whoever that is, or um, Marley, Bob Marley. Get up, stand up, stand up for your rights, that song. Um, and... They're really letting you know that it's time for you to like get going. Stop. Uh, I don't like to use the word stop or be so forceful with you, Anne, because I know you're very sensitive. I know you are, sweetie. Um, I, I'm just going to say it the way they're saying it, and I apologize. Stop your mind from thinking the way it is. And I know that can be very difficult once we get to a certain spot and start looking for opportunities or answers, okay? And stop being stuck just in general, but stop being stuck in this, I can't, I don't have power. Um, and I know that you are probably wanting to like, not accept that answer, Anne, because I can feel it. Um, because once we get to a certain point, we feel like, like we don't have power, like we don't have choices, like, like it's too much. It's so heavy. And because we're in this system, and we can't get out of this system, but we can, but we can, and we can. And so your uncle wants to just tell you to make that move, make that move. Okay. Okay. And I hope that was helpful. I really do. And I'm going to do a clearing for you and everybody listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching. Um, we are in our power. I get a no. So let's heal, clear, release that. And, and on TikTok today, I did a clearing um, of everything holding us back. Uh, so you might want to I'll go listen to that too after the show, sweetie. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to the very next caller and then Isabella, I'll, I'll do yours next. Um, 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, Tony. Hi, it's Pat from Connecticut. Happy 4th. I yeah. didn't actually didn't expect to get on, so this is a nice celebration. <clears throat> Excellent, Pat. I'd love to ask. 
Uh-huh. Thank you. I'd love to ask, um, okay, so I've made an investment. I've taken out a loan, and that is altering my life pretty much profoundly. I need to manifest work kind of with ease and something easy as I'm regaining my health. Um, do you see me uh, manifesting some work that's enjoyable, helpful, um, able to, you know, pay my monthly bill for the loan? Thank you. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is we can never manifest something enjoyable from a place of desperation. So you have to get into that place uh, of joy. Yeah. Okay, get into that place of joy and happiness and don't question whether something will be enjoyable. Know it's going to be enjoyable no matter what it is. Um, there are people who wash dishes at a restaurant for a living and they love it. I mean, it's all perspective. It's just all perspective. Yeah. It's if you feel something is above you, beneath you, for you or not for you, is how you're going to feel about whatever work you do. Now, there is a difference between that and being able to physically do the job, okay? So if you're able to physically do a job, then it will be enjoyable as long as you focus only on what is good about the job and don't listen to the negative Nancys. Sorry, everybody named Nancy at the job or the bitty betters. Bet, 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 wait. Wait, wait, bitter Bettys. <laughs> okay, sorry, Bettys. Not all of you are bitter. <laughs> um, so what I'm getting is wherever you land, just find that positive perspective. And again, yeah. I'm going to implore everybody listening. Pick up, go to places where they have posts, like literal handwritten posts post-its and pick up those and see who's looking for what. And um, you might be amazed at what you find and ask a friend to ask a friend. Hey, this is what I can do. Yeah. Do you know anybody? Put a post on Craigslist or on um, wherever saying, this is what I do. If you need me, here I am. If you love walking dogs, get involved. If you don't have your own people, get involved with a dog walking company. Or I know one of my friends goes out of town quite a bit and they have the, like the cutest little dogs. And they, they work with a company that literally brings um, a dog sitter in for a couple days at a time. So, and they get paid pretty decent. So there are opportunities all over. You just have to open up your, um, don't get stuck in the tunnel. You know, don't get stuck in the tunnel of, oh my gosh, now I have this bill. Open up to the, there are so many possibilities out there for me. And then also start um, looking for and or posting your own opportunities out there. Okay, sweetie? Um, post a, a, post a thing right. saying you're willing to be a driver for somebody. Post a thing willing to, you know, whatever it is. And just run background checks right. on the people that you work for. Okay, love? Thank you so much, Tony. You are so Happy welcome. Tourist. You're so welcome. Have an amazing day. 917, you're going to be next. Please hold on. I'm going to answer a chat question from Isabella. And Isabella wants to know, hey, Tony, does my dad, Doug, have any message for me? Ah, uh, let's find out, Isabella. So, Isabella, the first thing coming through from your dad is um, he was a comedian. Like, everything he starts to say or do, it's so funny. Like, he's doing that Adele song that starts out, hello. <laughs> something from the from the other side um and it's Adele and then he just cracks up like it's so funny like hello it's me from the other side so I feel like he had a good sense of humor um Isabella and then the other thing that I'm getting from him is um uh the biggest thing he the biggest message that he would want to give to you is to not um 
He keeps going to say this a certain way, and then I keep stopping it. But I feel like it's kind of a warning that's coming in for you. But it's not bad. It's not like something catastrophic is going to happen. But he's saying, um, you need to, um, uh, I want to make sure I'm tapping into his energy. Yeah, because it starts, you need to. And then when I stop it, he says, okay, then start it. Don't. <laughs> so Isabella, apparently something is going on in your life. And um, he's saying, keep whatever your plan of action is to handle whatever's going on in your life. Keep going. Don't stop now. Just keep going. You're right. <sighs> Yeah, keep going. You're right. Whatever, why ever you started this, you're correct. And keep going. That's the message I'm getting, Isabella. I hope that helps you. Um, and if you, if if that does, please let me know. I'm gonna go to nine one seven nine one seven. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi. Good. Uh, good afternoon. My name is. Carmen, and I'm calling from New York. Okay, Carmen. Thanks for calling in. How can I help you today? Uh, I would like to know what I need to work on to attract the right man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Carmen, it's not us. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. It's not, um, us, it's not them, it's not anything. I'm going to say this. These mamas need to raise their boys to be men. That's all I'm going to I'm joking. I'm sorry to all the men. I am joking. I am jo joking because <laughs> women aren't standing up on their feet either. When I watch some of the things that I see, I'm just like, really? I'm, really? Um, oh. So here's what I'm going to say, Carmen. I'm joking. I'm just joking. What I'm going to say okay, to you, Carmen, joke. <laughs> what what you need for there, um, why is, uh, it's a timing thing. It's definitely a timing thing for okay. you. Um, so let me ask when the right timing, the right timing is coming in in August, end of August, beginning of September, there's like a, a a month's time there, like from the end of August, and I'm seeing the 23rd through September when it's going to that, um, it's a good, it's going to open up for you to meet somebody. Now you do need to be out and about and you need to be able to be around people and go to events and go, if you get invited out, go out. If you are invited to events or you see an event that you want to go to, go to it. Um, but okay. you, end of August, the 23rd of August through September, you need to be where you can meet people. Number one, you are going to meet this person organically. Um, I do not feel like they live in your area. Okay. But don't worry. Okay. That is not a deal breaker. So I feel like they live a bit uh, um, at a distance from you, but don't let that don't let that be the thing that says, "Oh, well, he doesn't live here; it's not going to work out." Okay, I've heard crazier stories. Right. I do feel like whomever this is, they live how far? How far uh, well, I'm not going to get into how far. You, but you do have to be out and about. I don't feel like they're local, and I do feel like it has the potential to be a very long-term relationship. Okay, sweetie? Okay. And here's what I'm going to do for you and everybody listening. Let's clear, release anything stopping or blocking us from a healthy, loving relationship with the right person, and then all that caused us and kept us. Let's heal, release, and clear that. Okay, sweetie? Yes, amen. Amen. Amen to that, right? Okay, you guys. Oh, uh, okay, Carmen, yeah. I hope that was really helpful Thank you for so you. Much. 
And don't forget to be out. And thank you. You're welcome. And I, I please call back and let us know, okay? Yeah, I will definitely in uh, September. Yeah, August twenty third on from August twenty third on. Anything, yeah. anything you are invited to. I don't care if you don't even like the people. Show up, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Be yeah, out. Definitely, I will. Be out. Be about. Be doing things. Okay, sweetie. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. You are welcome. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the the number is eight four five two seven seven nine one. Three one, uh, yes, I do private sessions. Um, if you would like a private session, you go to my website, t o n i g, dot i n f o. I want to thank everybody who has hit that like button. I'm going to go to Joy's question. If you have time, I wanted to ask about a uh, exam. Do I have a fear of failure or success? Or do I think I'm not capable of passing? A little bit of all of it. I'm just going to, if for anybody taking exams, anything stopping or blocking you from passing the exam uh, has cleared, I get a no. And, you know, instantly as I do that, my head just starts to swirl. So I think it's a matter of just being in your head, putting a lot more weight on the exam, which it does deserve the weight, but it it like putting the, oh my God, if I don't pass this, everything is, you know, ruined, which logical thinking, but let's just back up, take a breath. And it's a lot of anxiousness. So let's clear that anxiousness with it. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Okay. We're going to clear all that. And then always remember um, the subconscious part of your mind, everything you hear and or see is stored someplace in there. So take that slow, deep breath and let that answer come up when you need it. Okay. I'm going to go to 519. 519, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Jennifer. I'm calling from Canada. Happy uh, 4th of July. Hey, happy Canada Day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you? I love when my like Canadians, you know who needs to call in next? It has to be Jay because all three of you are from Canada and you're always calling in and I love it. So Jennifer, how can I help you today? Well, I, I spent the weekend with my family and uh, that you know what that's like. And <laughs> I, I loved your channeling and I'm just wondering if I'm the a-hole for not really wanting to spend a lot of time with them. Are you, though? <laughs> no, you're not. Um, listen. Listen. <laughs> I'm just going to say this. Um, and I'm going to say this as nicely as possible. And if you read this as sarcastic... That's okay, too. Family sometimes is like a very rich cheese, a very delicate, rich cheese. One bite might be really good. More than one bite might be a little too much. And if you leave it out too long, it starts to get moldy and stink. Okay? Okay. So we have that. Here's what I'm going to say. You're not. Other people's expectations of you are not your problem. Other people's expectations of you are not your problem. You have the right to show up, say hi, spend your quality time, not quantity time, with whomever, mm -hmm. and have it be like that. I used to do this thing when we used to have family dinners where the whole time I was there, I would just be shoving food in my mouth. Why, one might ask? Because every time somebody would say something and I wanted to respond, 
I knew my response would not be in alignment with what anybody else was thinking. So I would shove more food in my mouth, right? Surprising I'm not like 500 pounds at this point, but hey, whatever. Um, so sometimes it's for their protection, not yours. I'm joking. God, I think I'm funny. Um, but, it, but in all honesty, what I'm going to say is if you showed up, at least you did that. Second, you had your quality time. And then third, their expectations are not your your um, are not your job. You, it's not your job to fill somebody else's expectations. And they might be a little bit sad and disappointed, but it is what it is, right? Exactly. And but it's the kids too. It's like I, I feel bad because they don't really have good relationships with their grandparents, but my, my parents have never gone out of their way to make a good relationship with them. Um, yeah, it, it's, uh, you know, sometimes all I can say is sometimes people, and I, and I get why they do, sometimes people are really wanting that connection. And they're really wanting to have that, you know, uh, 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 validation or that, like, we're here, let's do this. Um, and other people just might not be in that space at that time. And so nobody's, I just need to say nobody's wrong for the way they handled it, because people can only do what they can do at any given moment. OK, um, but yeah. everybody has the right to do what they can do. Is what I'm going to say, too, like whether it's by choice or by force, you have the right to show up as you're comfortable showing up. If you would have forced something, it may have gone really far left really fast. Okay, love? Good. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. You are so welcome. And I do know in family dynamics, sometimes you want to, like in your heart, everybody has this ideal that you're going to show up and it's going to go this particular way and it's going to be so beautiful. But if everybody has their own vision of what that particular way is, there's going to be clashing. So sometimes spending a little less time um, helps to not have the clashing. I hope that makes sense to you. It really, really does. Thank you very much. You are so, so welcome. You are so, thank you so much for calling in, Jennifer. I'm so happy I was able to talk to you today. Thank you. Bye. I do, I, you know, and on that note, I just want to say that, you know, I had a lot of expectations of my mom when she was here. Like I, I would hope that when we would spend time together, she was going to be A, B, and C. And that wasn't even my mom's personality. And sometimes that, then I would feel a little let down from that. But looking back, I can see and understand she wouldn't have shown up as that person for anybody. I wanted her to show up with, kind of like me instead of like her. And that wasn't her job. It wasn't her job to show up like that. So we just have to learn to embrace and accept people as they are if we can. Okay. Uh, we are getting to that point. I'm going to go to, um, oh, let's go to uh, Mina, M-I-N-A, I think your name is. Right before my father passed away, he had a look of horror on his face and he said to me, uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh. okay, I'm going to repeat the question because Mina is asking right before my father passed away, he had a look of horror on his face and he said to me, what are you going to do 
and then he passed away. What was he seeing? Um, give me a second so I can get into that energy and go back to that time. The first thing I'm hearing is father, not your father, either his father or father, father from up above. And the next thing I'm hearing is he was still in part of his consciousness, his earth mind. So whomever showed up, and it could be grandfather too, Whomever showed up, maybe when they were here together on this earth, it wasn't the most cohesive, loving relationship, or there might have been some whatever that he he was still in that place. I feel like when he was passing away, he wasn't very cognitive. I feel like if he was on medications or whatever was going on with his mind, it was causing some illusions or delusions also. And whatever he was seeing was part of that illusion and delusion. As soon as he breathed in his final breath, like the... <gasps> and then <sighs> he was out and out of the illusion out of whatever it was that he was seeing and then in the arms i almost was saying this i'm gonna please don't think i'm minimizing this but in the arms like of an angel in the arms of an angel and then quickly being enveloped okay quickly being enveloped is what i'm seeing like protected, like a cocoon, a cocoon of protection. And he's saying, stop worrying, my baby. Stop worrying, my dear. Stop worrying. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Stop worrying. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, it's, it's, it, don't worry about that. He is, that did not mean, oh, and that did not mean what you think it meant. It did not uh, it did not, it, well, again, if he was on some sort of medication or his mind wasn't in the right space, it was some sort of, it wasn't, it, it, uh, <laughs> um, it was not accurate. There was a little illusion with whatever he was seeing, but then enveloped immediately and taken uh, taken into a safe hoovering, a safe cocoon, a space of um, pure light. Because I see all 90 seconds, all white, pure light, and all white around him. Okay. Everybody, 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 dance, dance, dance. Okay. Um, no, he did not see your future. It was what he was seeing in his, in his head, in his head. Like, like, you know, they say when you pass, you see light. Or you see this. It was what he was seeing in front of him. And then, but that was an illusion because of whatever was going on with him. He didn't see the future till after he left his body. I'll tell you that. Okay, love. <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I will be back Wednesday at noon central to do this all over again. If you did not get your question answered, if you did not get your call answered, please come back on Wednesday. Um, I love each and every one of you so stinking much. I can't wait to see you again on Wednesday. Mwah.